And I may have mentioned before, I do a lot of journaling. It's like my pocket psychiatrist. Um, it helps me keep organized. And anyway, I came across these Let's Planner stickers um, at like a Dollar General. And I thought these were great. They have goals. They have goals and all sorts of stickers. Um, all sorts of stickers, really cute stickers. So, keeping yourself organized for the next for the next few months. So those were really cute. I also came across these really cute shoe embellishments. So if you like scrapbook booking or things like that. Um, scrapbooking or things like that. I just love that sort of thing. I also wanted to say um, how important I think it is to keep the tradition of sending thank you notes and penmanship. I just love it when people send me a thank you note. Um, I just think it's so thoughtful and to know that people have gratitude and that they don't take for granted maybe your time or maybe a small gift so um, I really think we need to encourage a lot of the younger people the art of writing a thank you note the art of maybe good penmanship these are all things that um, these are all things that represent a civilized society and uh, it's good manners and it's also um, it makes a difference in people's lives it makes it makes them feel good about themselves and we want to spread happiness in the world so I received a few thank you notes and I'm, I have so much gratitude for that I also wanted to show you this funny it's a party invitation which I thought was just absolutely adorable and funny well it's spring and we are incubating quail eggs um, so this is these are the the blue ones are the celadon quail eggs we'll see if I get a celadon chick I have a couple right now um, we also have it's unusual I mean it's I'm not if you if you're not familiar with quail these are the jumbo coternics so these eggs are actually pretty big Okay, they're, they're about half the size of a small chicken egg. And, and each hen, quail hen, lays a similar pattern every time. So I can tell, like these two eggs were probably laid by the same hen. The marking on the egg, it looks almost like a handprint. So it, I can, I'll be able to identify her eggs when I see that common when I see that similar handprint. I want to just show you some variations in the the quail eggs. Um, like I said, these are these are jumbo. Some of them are really big. You can see here that's like a celadon quail it has like the blue tinting. This has a variety. This is probably a mixed breed. So you sort of have the celadon, but then you have the brown spotting. Um, these two were laid by the same hen. This. I'm not sure if this will be a viable egg. Um, we'll see these kind of eggs. Whenever we have an egg like this, it's usually not viable, but we'll throw it in there. Maybe there's something unusual, but um, I doubt that that's viable. I'll have to test that in about a week and see if there's anybody in there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the variation of eggs. Some of them have what I would call like continents, like that looks like it has like the continent of Africa on it. This is important because there are some some birds that are successful. They live a long life. They lay eggs, or they 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 have beautiful plumage. Or these are things that I want to look at when I'm raising my birds, and so that's why it matters if I can identify the eggs, which is a lot nicer than when you're trying to hatch out like chicken eggs where the eggshells might all be the same color so it's kind of a fun hobby 
and um, I just wanted to show you that if you were not familiar with uh, quail. Things are growing like crazy. We're getting little little flowers. Beginnings of first fruits. windy out today. It's warm. It's beautiful. It's the perfect kind of weather. Perfect kind of weather for a thunderstorm. So we'll see what happens as the day progresses. Oh, I just wanted to show you this cute little um, favor that was being given out at an event that I was at. Inside are, inside are purple zinnia, so I'll be throwing those in my garden as well. Um, purple's my favorite color, so we'll see if they end up being purple. We're having a little slice of this Mother's Day cake. Big heart tea, and I want to talk to you a little bit about roses. So it's Mother's Day, a little gift for my mother. Um, I want to show you these beautiful little roses, these little rose plants that came in these pretty little planters. Um, we also have some of these, which are so pretty and festive. Perfect for a springtime Mother's Day table. And so I just want to talk a little bit. I'm gonna make some um, I'm gonna make some rose petal. I'm gonna dry some rose petals for a couple of different reasons. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about roses. Um, we have all different kinds of roses, obviously. They come in every color and every shade. These two roses here, they're beautiful. These are fragrant roses, but you can have roses that look absolutely beautiful and they have absolutely no fragrance whatsoever. I also have some dried roses that are like tea roses. And some of these beautiful small roses. They're just absolutely gorgeous and they're so fragrant. But most of the time, um, when you go to a when you go to a florist and buy roses you're going to find they have absolutely no fragrance. And um, you can almost tell by the shape of the roses if they're a little bit messier. If they're a little messier and the, the shape isn't as tight, you're going to get some sort of a fragrance out of them. And these are the, some sort of a fragrance out of them. And these are the perfect type of roses to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to dry them and then, like I said, I'm going to use them for different reasons. Also, I wanted to show you, I just went to Target and I got some cute string lights. So, I think this is really cute for summer. These are something that I might put outside for having a cookout or something at night. I wouldn't leave them outside, obviously. They're battery operated. We got these. And then I got the, uh, I got the Edison light bulbs. I thought those were really, really cute. And then I just got some um, green rays that I'll use. To decorate, they have a lot of really nice, you know, nature-inspired fake plants there right now at a reasonable price. Like these were like three, these were like three dollars. Put them on shelves or do whatever you want, and then all in this nice little basket, which I think was four dollars something, and that was five dollars. Anyway, 